In mathematics, the Dirac delta function, delta function is a generalized function or distribution introduced by the physicist Paul Dirac. It is used to model the density of an idealized point mass or point charge as a function equal to zero everywhere except for zero and whose integral over the entire real line is equal to one. As there is no function that has these properties, the computations made by the theoretical physicists appeared to mathematicians as nonsense until the introduction of distributions by Laurent Schwartz to formalize and validate the computations. As a distribution, the Dirac delta function is a linear functional that maps every function to its value at zero. The Kronecker delta function, which is usually defined on a discrete domain and takes values 0 and 1, is a discrete analog of the Dirac delta function. In engineering and signal processing, the delta function, also known as the unit impulse symbol, may be regarded through its Laplace transform, as coming from the boundary values of a complex analytic function of a complex variable. The formal rules obeyed by this function are part of the operational calculus, a standard toolkit of physics and engineering. In many applications, the Dirac delta is regarded as a kind of limit, a weak limit, of a sequence of functions having a tall spike at the origin. In theory of distributions, this is a true limit. The approximating functions of the sequence are thus approximate or nascent delta functions. Topic. Motivation and overview The graph of the delta function is usually thought of as following the whole x-axis and the positive y-axis. The Dirac delta is used to model a tall narrow spike function, an impulse, and other similar abstractions such as a point charge, point mass or electron point. For example, to calculate the dynamics of a billiard ball being struck, one can approximate the force of the impact by a delta function. In doing so, one not only simplifies the equations, but one also is able to calculate the motion of the ball by only considering the total impulse of the collision without a detailed model of all of the elastic energy transfer at subatomic levels, for instance. To be specific, suppose that a billiard ball is at rest. A time t equals zero. Display style t equals zero. It is struck by another ball, imparting it with a momentum p in kilogram m s. Display style text kilogram m text s. The exchange of momentum is not actually instantaneous, being mediated by elastic processes at the molecular and subatomic level, but for practical purposes it is convenient to consider that energy transfer is effectively instantaneous. The force therefore is P delta T display style P delta T the units of delta T Display style delta t r s minus one display style s caret minus one. To model this situation more rigorously, suppose that the force instead is uniformly distributed over a small time interval delta t display style delta t. That is, F delta T T equals P delta T zero T delta T zero otherwise. Display style F underscore delta T T equals begin cases P delta T and zero then the momentum at any time T is found by integration P T equals zero T F delta T tau D tau equals P T greater than delta T P T delta T zero T delta T zero otherwise. Display style p t equals int underscore zero caret t f underscore delta t tau d tau equals begin cases p and t greater than delta t p t delta t and zero. Now the model situation of an instantaneous transfer of momentum requires taking the limit as delta t zero. Display style delta t to zero, giving p t equals p t greater than o o t zero. 
Display style P T equals begin cases P and T greater than zero zero and T L E Q zero end cases. Here the functions F delta T display style F underscore delta T are thought of as useful approximations to the idea of instantaneous transfer of momentum. The delta function allows us to construct an idealized limit of these approximations. Unfortunately, the actual limit of the functions in the sense of ordinary calculus lim delta t 0 f delta t display style lim underscore delta t to 0 f underscore delta t is zero everywhere but a single point, where it is infinite. To make proper sense of the delta function, we should instead insist that the property minus infinity infinity f delta T T D T equals P display style in underscore in T carrot in T F underscore delta T T D T equals P which holds for all delta T greater than zero display style delta T greater than zero should continue to hold in the limit. So, in the equation f t equals p delta t equals lim delta t zero f delta t t Display style f t equals p delta t equals lim underscore delta t to zero f underscore delta t t. It is understood that the limit is always taken outside the integral. In applied mathematics, as we have done here, the delta function is often manipulated as a kind of limit, a weak limit of a sequence of functions, each member of which has a tall spike at the origin. For example, a sequence of Gaussian distributions centered at the origin with variance tending to zero. Despite its name, the delta function is not truly a function, at least not a usual one with range in real numbers. For example, the objects f x. Topic Delta X and G X Zero are equal everywhere except at X. Topic Zero yet have integrals that are different. According to Lebesgue integration theory, if F and G are functions such that F G almost everywhere, then f is integrable if and only if g is integrable and the integrals of f and g are identical. A rigorous approach to regarding the Dirac delta function as a mathematical object in its own right requires measure theory or the theory of distributions. Topic: History. Joseph Fourier presented what is now called the Fourier Integral Theorem in his treatise Théorie analytique de la chaleur in the form f x equals 1 2 pi minus infinity infinity d alpha f alpha minus infinity infinity d p cuz p x minus p alpha Display style f x equals frac one two pi int underscore in f t carrot in f t d alpha f alpha int underscore in f t carrot in f t d p cos p x p alpha, which is tantamount to the introduction of the delta function in the form delta x minus alpha equals one. 2 pi 
minus infinity infinity d p cos p x minus p alpha Display style delta x alpha equals frac one two pi int underscore in a t carrot in a t d p cos p x p alpha. Later, Augustin Cauchy expressed the theorem using exponentials. F x equals one two pi minus infinity. Infinity E I P X minus infinity infinity E minus I P alpha F alpha D alpha D P Display style f x equals frac one two pi int underscore in a t carrot in a t e carrot i p x left int underscore in a t carrot in a t e carrot if alpha f alpha d alpha right d p. Cauchy pointed out that in some circumstances the order of integration in this result is significant. Contrast Fubini's theorem. As justified using the theory of distributions, the Cauchy equation can be rearranged to resemble Fourier's original formulation and expose the delta function as f x equals 1 2 pi minus infinity infinity e i p x Minus infinity infinity e minus i p alpha f alpha d alpha d p equals one two pi minus infinity infinity minus infinity infinity e i p x e minus i p alpha d p f alpha d alpha equals minus infinity infinity delta x minus alpha f alpha d alpha display style begin aligned f x and equals frac one two pi int underscore in a t carrot in a t e carrot i p x left int underscore in a t carrot in a t e carrot ip alpha f alpha d alpha Right d p four p t and equals frac one two pi int underscore in a t carrot in a t left int underscore in a t carrot in a t e carrot i p x e carrot ip alpha d p right f alpha d alpha equals int underscore in a t carrot in a t delta x alpha f alpha d alpha end aligned where the delta function is expressed as delta x minus alpha equals one 2 pi minus infinity infinity e i p x minus alpha d p Display style delta x alpha equals frac one two pi int underscore in a t carrot in a t e carrot if x alpha d p. A rigorous interpretation of the exponential form and the various limitations upon the function f necessary for its application extended over several centuries. The problems with a classical interpretation are explained as follows. The greatest drawback of the classical Fourier transformation is a rather narrow class of functions originals for which it can be effectively computed. Namely, it is necessary that these functions decrease sufficiently rapidly to zero in the neighborhood of infinity in order to ensure the existence of the Fourier integral. For example, the Fourier transform of such simple functions as polynomials does not exist in the classical sense. 
the extension of the classical Fourier transformation to distributions considerably enlarged the class of functions that could be transformed, and this removed many obstacles. Further developments included generalization of the Fourier integral, beginning with Plancherel's pathbreaking L2 theory, 1910, continuing with Wiener's and Bachner's works around 1930, and culminating with the amalgamation into L. Schwartz's theory of distributions. 1945, and leading to the formal development of the Dirac delta function. An infinitesimal formula for an infinitely tall, unit impulse delta function infinitesimal version of Cauchy distribution explicitly appears in an 1827 text of Augustin Louis Cauchy. Simeon Denis Poisson considered the issue in connection with the study of wave propagation as did Gustav Kirchhoff somewhat later. Kirchhoff and Hermann von Helmholtz also introduced the unit impulse as a limit of Gaussians, which also corresponded to Lord Kelvin's notion of a point heat source. At the end of the 19th century, Oliver Heaviside used formal Fourier series to manipulate the unit impulse. The Dirac delta function as such was introduced as a convenient notation by Paul Dirac in his influential 1930 book The Principles of Quantum Mechanics. He called it the delta function, since he used it as a continuous analog of the discrete Kronecker delta. Topic definitions The Dirac delta can be loosely thought of as a function on the real line which is zero everywhere except at the origin, where it is infinite, delta x equals plus infinity, x equals 0, x does not equal zero, display style, delta x equals begin cases plus NFT, and x equals zero, zero, and x NEQ zero end cases, and which is also constrained to satisfy the identity minus infinity infinity delta x dx equals 1 display style int underscore nft caret nft delta x dx equals 1 this is merely a heuristic characterization the dirac delta is not a function in the traditional sense as no function defined on the real numbers has these properties the dirac delta function can be rigorously defined either as a distribution or as a measure Topic. As a measure One way to rigorously capture the notion of the Dirac delta function is to define a measure, which accepts a subset of the real line R as an argument, and returns delta O. Topic. 1 if 0 element of A, and delta O. 0 otherwise. If the delta function is conceptualized as modeling an idealized point mass at zero, then delta a represents the mass contained in the set a. One may then define the integral against delta as the integral of a function against this mass distribution. Formally, the Lebesgue integral provides the necessary analytic device. The Lebesgue integral with respect to the measure delta satisfies minus infinity infinity f x delta d x equals f 0 display style int underscore in a t caret in a t f x delta d x equals f 0 for all continuous compactly supported functions f the measure delta is not absolutely continuous with respect to the Lebesgue measure in fact, it is a singular measure. Consequently, the delta measure has no radon nicodym derivative, no true function for which the property minus infinity infinity f x delta x d x equals f zero. Display style int underscore in a t caret in a t f x delta x d x equals f zero holds. As a result, the latter notation is a convenient abuse of notation and not a standard Riemann or Lebesgue integral. 
As a probability measure on R, the delta measure is characterized by its cumulative distribution function, which is the unit step function H x equals 1 if x 0 if x 0. Display style H x equals begin cases 1 and text if x g e q 0 0 and text if x. This means that H x is the integral of the cumulative indicator function 1 minus infinity x with respect to the measure delta, to wit H x equals R 1 minus infinity x t delta d t equals delta minus infinity x. Display style H x equals int underscore math b F R Math BF one underscore in T X T delta D T equals delta in T X the latter being the measure of this interval, more formally, delta minus infinity X. Display style delta big in T X big. Thus in particular the integral of the delta function against a continuous function can be properly understood as a Riemann Stieltjes integral minus Infinity Infinity F X Delta D X equals minus infinity infinity F X D H X Display style int underscore in a t carrot in a t f x delta d x equals int underscore in a t carrot in a t f x d h x. All higher moments of delta are zero. In particular, characteristic function and moment generating function are both equal to one. Topic as a distribution. In the theory of distributions, a generalized function is considered not a function in itself, but only in relation to how it affects other functions when integrated against them. In keeping with this philosophy, to define the delta function properly, it is enough to say what the integral of the delta function is against a sufficiently good test function phi. Test functions are also known as bump functions. If the delta function is already understood as a measure, then the Lebesgue integral of a test function against that measure supplies the necessary integral. A typical space of test functions consists of all smooth functions on R with compact support that have as many derivatives as required. As a distribution, the Dirac delta is a linear functional on the space of test functions and is defined by for every test function phi display style var phi for delta to be properly a distribution it must be continuous in a suitable topology on the space of test functions in general for a linear functional s on the space of test functions to define a distribution it is necessary and sufficient that for every positive integer n there is an integer mn and a constant cn such that for every test function phi one has the inequality s Phi C N K equals zero M N sup X element of minus N N Phi K X Display style S var phi L E Q C underscore N sum underscore K equals zero carrot M underscore N sub underscore X in N N var phi carrot K X with the delta distribution, one has such an inequality with C N Topic one with M N Zero for all n thus delta is a distribution of order zero. It is, furthermore, a distribution with compact support, the support being zero. The delta distribution can also be defined in a number of equivalent ways. For instance, it is the distributional derivative of the heaviside step function. This means that, for every test function phi, one has 
delta phi equals minus minus infinity infinity phi x h x d x Display style delta var phi equals int underscore in a t carrot in a t var phi x h x d x. Intuitively, if integration by parts were permitted, then the latter integral should simplify to minus infinity infinity phi x h x d x equals minus infinity infinity phi x delta x d x display style int underscore in t carrot in t var phi x h x d x equals int underscore in t carrot in t var phi x delta x d x and indeed, a form of integration by parts is permitted for the Stielche's integral, and in that case one does have minus minus infinity infinity phi x h x d x equals minus infinity infinity phi x d h x display style int underscore in a t carrot in a t var phi x h x d x equals int underscore in a t carrot in a t var phi x d h x in the context of measure theory the dirac measure gives rise to a distribution by integration Conversely, equation 1 defines a Daniel integral on the space of all compactly supported continuous functions phi which by the Riesz representation theorem can be represented as the Lebesgue integral of phi with respect to some radon measure. Generally, when the term Dirac delta function is used, it is in the sense of distributions rather than measures, the Dirac measure being among several terms for the corresponding notion in measure theory. Some sources may also use the term Dirac delta distribution. Topic: Generalizations. The delta function can be defined in n-dimensional Euclidean space R n as the measure such that R n f x delta d x equals f 0 display style int underscore math bf r caret n f math bf x delta d math bf x equals f math bf 0 for every compactly supported continuous function f as a measure the n dimensional delta function is the product measure of the one dimensional delta functions in each variable separately thus formally with x equals x1 x2 xn one has the delta function can also be defined in the sense of distributions exactly as above in the one dimensional case However, despite widespread use in engineering contexts, two should be manipulated with care, since the product of distributions can only be defined under quite narrow circumstances. The notion of a Dirac measure makes sense on any set. Thus, if x is a set, x zero element of x is a marked point, and sigma is any sigma algebra of subsets of x, then the measure defined on sets a element of sigma by delta x zero a equals one if x zero element of a zero if x zero a display style delta underscore x underscore zero a equals begin cases one and text if x underscore zero in a zero and text if x underscore zero note in a end cases is the delta measure or unit mass concentrated at x0. 
Another common generalization of the delta function is to a differentiable manifold where most of its properties as a distribution can also be exploited because of the differentiable structure. The delta function on a manifold M centered at the point x0 element of M is defined as the following distribution. For all compactly supported smooth real valued functions phi on M, a common special case of this construction is that in which M is an open set in the Euclidean space Rn. On a locally compact Hausdorff space X, the Dirac delta measure concentrated at a point X is the radon measure associated with the Daniel integral 3 on compactly supported continuous functions phi. At this level of generality, calculus as such is no longer possible, however a variety of techniques from abstract analysis are available. For instance, the mapping x0 delta x0 display style x underscore 0 mapsto delta underscore x underscore 0 is a continuous embedding of x into the space of finite radon measures on x, equipped with its vague topology. Moreover, the convex hull of the image of x under this embedding is dense in the space of probability measures on x. Topic Properties Topic Scaling and Symmetry The delta function satisfies the following scaling property for a non zero scalar alpha minus infinity infinity delta alpha x D x equals minus infinity infinity delta u d u alpha equals one alpha Display style int underscore in aft carrot in aft delta alpha x dx equals int underscore in aft carrot in aft delta u frac do alpha equals frac one alpha, and so. In particular, the delta function is an even distribution in the sense that delta minus x equals delta x display style delta x equals delta x which is homogeneous of degree minus 1 topic algebraic properties the distributional product of delta with x is equal to 0 x delta x equals Zero. Display style x delta x equals zero. Conversely, if x f x equals x g x, where f and g are distributions, then f x equals g x plus c delta x. Display style f x equals g x plus c delta x for some constant c. Topic translation. The integral of the time delayed Dirac delta is minus infinity infinity f t. Delta T minus T D T equals F T display style int underscore in a T carrot in a T F T delta T T D T equals F T. This is sometimes referred to as the sifting property or the sampling property. The delta function is said to sift out the value at t equals t it follows that the effect of convolving a function ft with the time delayed dirac delta is to time delay ft by the same amount 
This holds under the precise condition that F be a tempered distribution see the discussion of the Fourier transform below. As a special case, for instance, we have the identity understood in the distribution sense minus infinity infinity delta she minus x delta x minus eta d x equals delta she minus eta Display style int underscore in a t carrot in a t delta she x delta x eta d x equals delta she eta. Topic composition with a function. More generally, the delta distribution may be composed with a smooth function g x in such a way that the familiar change of variables formula holds that r delta g x f g x g x d x equals g R delta U F U D U display style in underscore math B F R delta biggle G X bigger F biggle G X bigger G X D X equals int underscore G math B F R delta U F U do Provided that g is a continuously differentiable function with g nowhere zero. That is, there is a unique way to assign meaning to the distribution. Delta g display style delta circ g, so that this identity holds for all compactly supported test functions f. Therefore, the domain must be broken up to exclude the g. Topic zero point. This distribution satisfies delta g x zero if g is nowhere zero, and otherwise if g has a real root at x zero, then delta g x equals delta x minus x zero. G x zero display style delta g x equals frac delta x x underscore zero g x underscore zero. It is natural, therefore, to define the composition delta g x for continuously differentiable functions g by delta g x equals i delta x minus x i g x i display style delta g x equals sum underscore i frac delta x x underscore i g x underscore i where the sum extends over all roots of g x which are assumed to be simple thus for example Delta x two minus alpha two equals one two alpha delta x plus alpha plus delta x minus alpha Display style delta left x caret two alpha caret two right equals frac one two alpha big delta left x plus alpha right plus delta left x alpha right big. In the integral form, the generalized scaling property may be written as minus infinity infinity f x delta 
g x d x equals i f x i g x i Display style int underscore in aft carrot in aft f x delta g x d x equals sum underscore i frac f x underscore i g x underscore i. Topic: Properties in n dimensions. The delta distribution in an n-dimensional space satisfies the following scaling property instead. Delta alpha x equals alpha minus n delta x. Display style delta alpha math bf x equals alpha caret n delta math bf x tilde so that delta is a homogeneous distribution of degree minus n. Under any reflection or rotation ρ, the delta function is invariant. Delta ρ x equals delta x. Display style delta ρ math bf x equals delta math bf x tilde. As in the one variable case, it is possible to define the composition of delta with a by Lipschitz function g, r n r n uniquely so that the identity r n delta g x f g x det g x d x equals g r n delta u f u d u display style int underscore math bf r caret n delta g math bf x f g math bf x left det g math bf x right d math bf x equals int underscore g math bf r caret n delta math bf u f math bf u d math bf u for all compactly supported functions f Using the Coria formula from geometric measure theory, one can also define the composition of the delta function with a submersion from one Euclidean space to another one of different dimension. The result is a type of current. In the special case of a continuously differentiable function g, RNR such that the gradient of g is nowhere zero, the following identity holds R n f x delta g x d x equals g minus 1 0 f x g d sigma x Display style int underscore math bf r caret n f math bf x delta g math bf x d math bf x equals int underscore g caret minus one zero frac f math bf x math bf nabla g d sigma math bf x where the integral on the right is over g minus one zero, the n minus one dimensional surface defined by g x equals zero with respect to the Minkowski content measure. This is known as a simple layer integral. More generally, if S is a smooth hypersurface of R n, then we can associate to S the distribution that integrates any compactly supported smooth function g over S. Delta s g equals s g s d sigma s 
Display style delta underscore S G equals int underscore S G Math BF S D Sigma Math BF S where sigma is the hypersurface measure associated to S. This generalization is associated with the potential theory of simple layer potentials on S. If D is a domain in Rn with smooth boundary S, then delta S is equal to the normal derivative of the indicator function of D in the distribution sense. Minus R N G X 1 D X N D X equals S G S D Sigma S Display style in underscore Math BF R carrot N G Math BF X frac partial one underscore D Math BF X partial N D Math BF X equals in underscore S G Math BF S D Sigma Math BF S where N is the outward normal. For a proof, CEG the article on the surface delta function. Topic. Fourier transform The delta function is a tempered distribution, and therefore it has a well-defined Fourier transform. Formally, one finds delta caret she equals minus infinity infinity e minus Two Pi I X she Delta X D X equals one Display style white hat delta she equals int underscore in a t carrot in a t e carrot minus two Pi X she delta X D X equals one Properly speaking, the Fourier transform of a distribution is defined by imposing self-adjointness of the Fourier transform under the duality pairing. Display style Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle of tempered distributions with Schwartz functions. Thus, delta caret display style wide hat delta is defined as the unique tempered distribution satisfying delta caret phi equals delta phi caret display style langle wide hat delta var phi wrangle equals langle delta wide hat var phi wrangle for all schwartz functions phi and indeed it follows from this that delta Carrot equals one. Display style white hat delta equals one. As a result of this identity, the convolution of the delta function with any other tempered distribution S is simply S. S delta equals S. Display style S asterisk delta equals S. That is to say that delta is an identity element for the convolution on tempered distributions, and in fact the space of compactly supported distributions under convolution is an associative algebra with identity the delta function. This property is fundamental in signal processing, as convolution with a tempered distribution is a linear time invariant system, and applying the linear time invariant system measures its impulse response. The impulse response can be computed to any desired degree of accuracy by choosing a suitable approximation for delta, and once it is known, it characterizes the system completely. CLTI system theory section impulse response and convolution. The inverse Fourier transform of the tempered distribution f she equals 1 is the delta function. Formally, this is expressed minus infinity infinity 1 e 2 pi i 
x she d she equals delta x display style int underscore in a t carrot in a t one c d o t e carrot two pi x she d she equals delta x and more rigorously it follows since one f equals f zero equals delta f display style langle 1 f caret v wrangle equals f 0 equals langle delta f wrangle for all schwartz functions f in these terms the delta function provides a suggestive statement of the orthogonality property of the fourier kernel on r formally one has minus infinity infinity e i 2 pi she 1 t e i 2 pi she 2 t d t equals minus infinity infinity e minus I two pi she two minus she one t d t equals delta she two minus she one Display style in underscore in a t carrot in a t e carrot i two pi she underscore one t left e carrot i two pi she underscore two t right carrot asterisk d t equals in underscore in a t carrot in a t e carrot i two pi she underscore two she underscore one t d t equals delta she underscore two she underscore one this is, of course, shorthand for the assertion that the Fourier transform of the tempered distribution f t equals e i two pi she one t display style f t equals e caret i two pi she underscore one t is F carrot she two equals delta she one minus she two Display style wide hat f she underscore two equals delta she underscore one she underscore two which again follows by imposing self-adjointness of the Fourier transform. By analytic continuation of the Fourier transform, the Laplace transform of the delta function is found to be zero infinity delta t minus a e minus s t d T equals E minus S A display style int underscore zero carrot in a t delta T A east carrot street D T equals E carrot saw topic distributional derivatives. The distributional derivative of the Dirac delta distribution is the distribution delta defined on compactly supported smooth test functions phi by delta phi equals minus delta phi equals minus phi zero. 
Display style delta var phi equals delta var phi equals var phi zero. The first equality here is a kind of integration by parts. For if delta were a true function, then minus infinity infinity delta x phi x d x equals minus minus infinity infinity delta x phi x d x Display style in underscore in a t carrot in a t delta x var phi x d x equals in underscore in a t carrot in a t delta x var phi x d x. The kth derivative of delta is defined similarly as the distribution given on test functions by delta k phi equals minus one K Phi K zero Display style delta carrot K var phi equals minus one carrot K var phi carrot K zero. In particular, delta is an infinitely differentiable distribution. The first derivative of the delta function is the distributional limit of the difference quotients delta x equals lim h 0 delta x plus h minus delta x h display style delta x equals lim underscore h to 0 frac delta x plus h delta x h more properly one has delta equals lim h 0 1 h tau h delta minus delta display style delta equals lim underscore h to 0 frac 1 h tau underscore h delta delta where tau h is the translation operator, defined on functions by tau h phi x equals phi x plus h, and on a distribution s by tau h s phi equals s tau minus h phi Display style tau underscore h s var phi equals s tau underscore h var phi. In the theory of electromagnetism, the first derivative of the delta function represents a point magnetic dipole situated at the origin. Accordingly, it is referred to as a dipole or the doublet function. The derivative of the delta function satisfies a number of basic properties, including d d x delta minus x equals d d x delta x delta minus x equals minus delta x x delta x equals minus delta x. Display style begin aligned and frac d d x delta x equals frac d d x delta x eight p t and delta x equals delta x eight p t and x delta x equals delta x end aligned. Furthermore, the convolution of delta with a compactly supported smooth function f as delta f equals delta f equals f. Display style delta asterisk f equals delta asterisk f equals f which follows from the properties of the distributional derivative of a convolution. Topic: <laughs> Higher dimensions. More generally, on an open set U in the n-dimensional Euclidean space Rn, the Dirac delta distribution centered at a point a element of U is defined by delta phi equals phi o display style delta underscore o var phi equals var phi a 
for all phi element of S U, the space of all smooth compactly supported functions on U if alpha equals alpha one. Alpha n is any multi-index and alpha denotes the associated mixed partial derivative operator. Then the alpha th derivative at a of delta a is given by alpha delta a phi equals minus one alpha delta a alpha phi equals minus 1 alpha alpha phi x x equals a for all phi element of s u Display style left Langle partial carrot alpha delta underscore a varphi right wrangle equals minus one carrot alpha left Langle delta underscore a partial carrot alpha varphi right wrangle equals minus one carrot alpha partial carrot alpha varphi x big underscore x equals a text for all varphi in S U that is, the alpha th derivative of delta a is the distribution whose value on any test function phi is the alpha th derivative of phi at a with the appropriate positive or negative sign. The first partial derivatives of the delta function are thought of as double layers along the coordinate planes. More generally, the normal derivative of a simple layer supported on a surface is a double layer supported on that surface, and represents a laminar magnetic monopole. Higher derivatives of the delta function are known in physics as multipoles. Higher derivatives enter into mathematics naturally as the building blocks for the complete structure of distributions with point support. If S is any distribution on U supported on the set a consisting of a single point, then there is an integer m and coefficients c alpha such that S equals alpha m c alpha alpha delta a display style s equals sum underscore alpha leqm c underscore alpha partial caret alpha delta underscore a topic representations of the delta function The delta function can be viewed as the limit of a sequence of functions. Delta x equals lim epsilon zero plus eta epsilon x. Display style delta x equals lim underscore var epsilon to zero caret plus eta underscore var epsilon x where e x is sometimes called a nascent delta function. This limit is meant in a weak sense, either that for all continuous functions f having compact support, or that this limit holds for all smooth functions f with compact support. The difference between these two slightly different modes of weak convergence is often subtle, the former is convergence in the vague topology of measures, and the latter is convergence in the sense of distributions. Topic. Approximations to the identity Typically a nascent delta function E can be constructed in the following manner. Let eta be an absolutely integrable function on R of total integral 1, and define eta epsilon x equals epsilon minus 1 eta x epsilon display style eta underscore var epsilon x equals var epsilon caret minus 1 eta left frac x var epsilon right in n dimensions one uses instead the scaling eta epsilon x equals epsilon 
minus n eta x epsilon display style eta underscore var epsilon x equals var epsilon caret n eta left frac x var epsilon right then a simple change of variables shows that e also has integral 1 one may show that 5 holds for all continuous compactly supported functions f and so e converges weakly to delta in the sense of measures the e constructed in this way are known as an approximation to the identity this terminology is because the space L1 R of absolutely integrable functions is closed under the operation of convolution of functions, Fg element of L1 R whenever F and G are in L1 R. However, there is no identity in L1 R for the convolution product, no element H such that Fh equals F for all F. Nevertheless, the sequence E does approximate such an identity in the sense that F eta epsilon F as epsilon zero display style F asterisk eta underscore var epsilon to F quad text as var epsilon to zero. This limit holds in the sense of mean convergence, convergence in L one. Further conditions on the E, for instance that it be a mollifier associated to a compactly supported function, are needed to ensure pointwise convergence almost everywhere. If the initial eta equals eta 1 is itself smooth and compactly supported then the sequence is called a mollifier. The standard mollifier is obtained by choosing eta to be a suitably normalized bump function, for instance eta x equals e minus 1 1 minus x 2 if x 1 0 if x 1. Display style eta x equals begin cases e caret frac 1 1 x caret 2 and text if x. In some situations such as numerical analysis, a piecewise linear approximation to the identity is desirable. This can be obtained by taking eta 1 to be a hat function. With this choice of eta 1, one has eta epsilon x equals epsilon minus 1 max 1 minus x epsilon 0 Display style eta underscore var epsilon x equals var epsilon caret minus one max left one left frac x var epsilon right zero right, which are all continuous and compactly supported, although not smooth and so not a mollifier. Topic probabilistic considerations in the context of probability theory, it is natural to impose the additional condition that the initial eta 1 in an approximation to the identity should be positive, as such a function then represents a probability distribution. Convolution with a probability distribution is sometimes favorable because it does not result in overshoot or undershoot, as the output is a convex combination of the input values, and thus falls between the maximum and minimum of the input function. Taking eta 1 to be any probability distribution at all, and letting E x equals eta 1 x epsilon, epsilon as above will give rise to an approximation to the identity. In general this converges more rapidly to a delta function if, in addition, eta has mean zero and has small higher moments. For instance, if eta 1 is the uniform distribution on minus 1 half, 1 half, also known as the rectangular function, then, eta epsilon x equals 1 epsilon rect x epsilon equals 1 epsilon minus epsilon 2 x epsilon 2 o, otherwise, display style eta underscore var epsilon x equals frac 1 var epsilon operator name rect left frac x var epsilon right equals begin cases frac 1 1 var epsilon and frac var epsilon 2 
end cases another example is with the Wigner semicircle distribution eta epsilon x equals 2 pi epsilon 2 epsilon 2 minus x2 minus epsilon x epsilon 0 otherwise display style eta underscore var epsilon x equals begin cases frac 2 pi var epsilon caret 2 sqrt var epsilon caret 2 x caret 2 and var epsilon this is continuous and compactly supported but not a a mollifier because it is not smooth. Topic: <inaudible> Semigroups. Nascent delta functions often arise as convolution semigroups. This amounts to the further constraint that the convolution of E with Ed must satisfy eta epsilon eta delta equals eta epsilon plus delta display style eta underscore var epsilon asterisk eta underscore delta equals eta underscore var epsilon plus delta for all epsilon delta greater than zero convolution semigroups in L1 that form a nascent delta function are always an approximation to the identity in the above sense however the semigroup condition is quite a strong restriction in practice semigroups approximating the delta function arise as fundamental solutions or greens functions to physically motivated elliptic or parabolic partial differential equations in the context of applied mathematics, semigroups arise as the output of a linear time invariant system. Abstractly, if A is a linear operator acting on functions of x, then a convolution semigroup arises by solving the initial value problem t eta t x equals a eta t x t greater than 0 lim t 0 plus eta t x equals delta x Display style begin cases d frac partial partial t eta t x equals o eta t x quad t greater than zero five p t display style lim underscore t to zero caret plus eta t x equals delta x end cases in which the limit is as usual understood in the weak sense. Setting e x equals eta epsilon x gives the associated nascent delta function. Some examples of physically important convolution semigroups arising from such a fundamental solution include the following: the heat kernel, the heat kernel defined by eta epsilon x equals one two pi epsilon e minus x 2 2 epsilon display style eta underscore var epsilon x equals frac 1 sqrt 2 pi var epsilon mathrm e caret frac x caret 2 2 var epsilon represents the temperature in an infinite wire at time t greater than zero, if a unit of heat energy is stored at the origin of the wire at time t equals zero. This semigroup evolves according to the one-dimensional heat equation U T equals 1 2 2 U X 2 Display style frac partial u partial t equals frac one two frac partial caret two u partial x caret two. In probability theory, E x is a normal distribution of variance epsilon and mean zero. It represents the probability density at time t equals epsilon of the position of a particle starting at the origin following a standard Brownian motion. In this context, the semigroup condition is then an expression of the Markov property of Brownian motion.
In higher dimensional Euclidean space Rn, the heat kernel is eta epsilon equals one two pi epsilon n two e minus x x two epsilon Display style eta underscore var epsilon equals frac one two pi var epsilon carrot n two mathrm e carrot frac x c d o t x two var epsilon, and has the same physical interpretation mutatis mutandis. It also represents a nascent delta function in the sense that e delta in the distribution sense is epsilon zero. The Poisson kernel the Poisson kernel Eta epsilon x equals one pi epsilon epsilon two plus x two equals minus infinity infinity e two pi I she x minus epsilon she d she display style eta underscore var epsilon x equals frac one pi frac var epsilon var epsilon caret two plus x caret two equals int underscore in a t caret in a t mathrm e caret two pi mathrm i she x var epsilon she d she is the fundamental solution of the Laplace equation in the upper half plane. It represents the electrostatic potential in a semi-infinite plate whose potential along the edge is held at fixed at the delta function. The Poisson kernel is also closely related to the Cauchy distribution. This semigroup evolves according to the equation U T equals minus minus two x two one two U T X Display style frac partial U partial T equals left frac partial carrot two partial x carrot two right carrot frac one two U T X where the operator is rigorously defined as the Fourier multiplier F minus two X Two one two F she equals two pi she F F she Display style math call F left left frac partial carrot two partial x carrot two right carrot frac one two F right she equals two pi she math call F F she Topic Oscillatory integrals In areas of physics such as wave propagation and wave mechanics, the equations involved are hyperbolic and so may have more singular solutions. As a result, the nascent delta functions that arise as fundamental solutions of the associated Cauchy problems are generally oscillatory integrals. An example, which comes from a solution of the euler tracomi equation of transonic gas dynamics, is the rescaled airy function epsilon minus 1 3 i x epsilon minus 1 3 Display style var epsilon caret minus one third operator name i left x var epsilon caret minus one third right. Although using the Fourier transform, it is easy to see that this generates a semigroup in some sense. It is not absolutely integrable and so cannot define a semigroup in the above strong sense. 
Many nascent delta functions constructed as oscillatory integrals only converge in the sense of distributions an example as the Dirichlet kernel below, rather than in the sense of measures. Another example is the Cauchy problem for the wave equation in R1 plus 1, C minus 2 2 ut 2 minus delta u equals 0 u equals 0, ut equals delta for t equals 0. Display style begin aligned c caret minus two frac partial caret two u partial t caret two delta u and equals zero u equals zero quad frac partial u partial t equals delta and q quad text for t equals zero end aligned the solution u represents the displacement from equilibrium of an infinite elastic string with an initial disturbance at the origin. Other approximations to the identity of this kind include the sink function used widely in electronics and telecommunications. Eta epsilon x equals 1 pi x sin x epsilon equals 1 2 pi minus 1 epsilon 1 epsilon cuz k x d k Display style eta underscore var epsilon x equals frac one pi x sin left frac x var epsilon right equals frac one two pi int underscore frac one var epsilon caret frac one var epsilon cos k x d k and the Bessel function eta epsilon x equals one epsilon J one Epsilon X plus one Epsilon Display style eta underscore var epsilon x equals frac one var epsilon j underscore frac one var epsilon left frac x plus one var epsilon right topic Plane wave decomposition One approach to the study of a linear partial differential equation L U equals F Display style L U equals F where L as a differential operator on Rn is to seek first a fundamental solution, which is a solution of the equation L u equals delta display style l u equals delta when l is particularly simple this problem can often be resolved using the fourier transform directly as in the case of the poisson kernel and heat kernel already mentioned for more complicated operators it is sometimes easier first to consider an equation of the form l u equals h display style l u equals h where h is a plane wave function meaning that it has the form h equals h x she display style h equals h x c d o t she for some vector she such an equation can be resolved if the coefficients of L are analytic functions by the Cauchy-Kovalevskaya theorem or if the coefficients of L are constant by quadrature. So, if the delta function can be decomposed into plane waves, then one can in principle solve linear partial differential equations. Such a decomposition of the delta function into plane waves was part of a general technique first introduced essentially by Johann Radon, and then developed in this form by Fritz John 1955. Choose k so that n plus k is an even integer, and for a real number s, put g s equals re minus s k log 
minus i s k 2 pi i n equals s k 4 k 2 pi i n minus 1 n odd minus s k log s k 2 pi i n n even Display style G S equals operator name re left frac S carrot K log is K two pi I carrot N right equals begin cases frac S carrot K four K two pi I carrot N one and N text odd five PT frac S carrot K log S K two pi I carrot N and N text even end cases then delta is obtained by applying a power of the Laplacian to the integral with respect to the unit sphere measure d omega of g x she for she in the unit sphere s n minus one delta x equals delta x n plus k two s n minus one gram x she d omega she display style delta x equals delta underscore x caret n plus k two int underscore s caret n one g x c d o t she d omega underscore she the Laplacian here is interpreted as a weak derivative, so that this equation is taken to mean that, for any test function phi, phi x equals r n phi y d y delta x n plus k two S N minus one G X minus Y she D Omega she Display style varphi x equals int underscore math bf r carrot n varphi y die delta underscore x carrot frac n plus k two int underscore s carrot n one g x y c d o t she d omega underscore she. The result follows from the formula for the Newtonian potential, the fundamental solution of Poisson's equation. This is essentially a form of the inversion formula for the radon transform, because it recovers the value of phi x from its integrals over hyperplanes. For instance, if n is odd and k equals 1, then the integral on the right-hand side is c n delta x n plus 1 2 s n minus 1 phi y y minus x she d omega she d y equals c n delta x n plus 1 2 Sn minus 1 d omega she minus infinity infinity p r phi she p plus x she d p display style begin aligned and c underscore n delta underscore x caret frac n plus 1 2 int int underscore s caret n 1 var phi y y x c d o t she d omega underscore she die 5 p t equals and c underscore n delta underscore 
x caret n plus one two int underscore s caret n one d omega underscore she int underscore in a t caret in a t p r var phi she p plus x c d o t she d p end aligned where r phi she p is the radon transform of phi r phi she p equals x she equals p f x d n minus one x Display style R var phi she p equals int underscore x c d o t she equals p f x d caret n one x an alternative equivalent expression of the plane wave decomposition from Gelfand and Shilov 1966 to 1968 i section three ten is delta x equals n minus one two pi I N S N minus one X she minus N D Omega she Display style delta x equals frac n one two pi i caret n int underscore s caret n one x c d o t she caret n d omega underscore she for n even and delta x equals one two two pi i n Minus one S N minus one Delta N minus one X she D Omega she Display style delta x equals frac one two two pi i carrot n one int underscore s carrot n one delta carrot n one x c d o t she d omega underscore she for n odd. Topic Fourier kernels. In the study of Fourier series, a major question consists of determining whether and in what sense the Fourier series associated with a periodic function converges to the function. The nth partial sum of the Fourier series of a function f of period 2 pi is defined by convolution on the interval minus pi pi with the Dirichlet kernel d n x equals n equals minus n n e i n x equals sin n plus 1 2 x sin x 2 Display style d underscore n x equals sum underscore n equals n caret n e caret i n x equals frac sin left n plus t f r a c one two x right sin x two. Thus, s n f x equals d n f x equals n equals minus n n a n e i n x Display style s underscore n f x equals d underscore n asterisk f x equals sum underscore n equals n caret n a underscore n e caret i n x, where a n equals one two pi minus pi pi f Y 
e minus i n y d y display style underscore n equals frac 1 2 pi int underscore pi caret pi f y e caret any die a fundamental result of elementary Fourier series states that the Dirichlet kernel tends to the a multiple of the delta function as n infinity. This is interpreted in the distribution sense that s n f zero equals r d n x f x d x 2 pi f 0 display style s underscore n f 0 equals int underscore math b f r d underscore n x f x d x to 2 pi f 0 for every compactly supported smooth function f thus formally one has delta x equals 1 2 pi n equals minus infinity infinity e i n x display style delta x equals frac 1 2 pi sum underscore n equals n a t caret n a t e caret i n x on the interval minus pi pi in spite of this the result does not hold for all compactly supported continuous functions that is dn does not converge weakly in the sense of measures the lack of convergence of the fourier series has led to the introduction of a variety of summability methods in order to produce convergence the method of cesaro summation leads to the fair kernel f n x equals 1 n n equals 0 n minus 1 d n x equals 1 n sin n x 2 sin x 2 2 display style f underscore n x equals frac 1 n sum underscore n equals 0 caret n 1 d underscore n x equals frac 1 n left frac sin frac n x 2 sin frac x 2 right caret 2 the fair kernels tend to the delta function in a stronger sense that R F N X F X D X two Pi F zero Display style in underscore Math BF R F underscore N X F X D X to two Pi F zero for every compactly supported continuous function f. The implication is that the Fourier series of any continuous function is Cesaro summable to the value of the function at every point. Topic Hilbert space theory The Dirac delta distribution is a densely defined unbounded linear functional on the Hilbert space L2 of square integrable functions. Indeed, smooth compactly support functions are dense in L2, and the action of the delta distribution on such functions is well defined. In many applications, it is possible to identify subspaces of L2 and to give a stronger topology on which the delta function defines a bounded linear functional. 
Sobolev space to Sobolev embedding theorem for Sobolev spaces on the real line R implies that any square integrable function f such that f h one two equals minus infinity infinity f caret she two one plus she two d she infinity display style f underscore h caret one caret two equals int underscore in a t caret in a t wide hat f she caret two one plus she caret two d she is automatically continuous and satisfies in particular delta f equals f zero c f h one display style delta f equals f zero. Thus, delta is a bounded linear functional on the Sobolev space H one. Equivalently, delta is an element of the continuous dual space H minus one of H one. More generally, in n dimensions, one has delta element of H minus s R n provided s greater than n two. Topic: Spaces of holomorphic functions. In complex analysis, the delta function enters via Cauchy's integral formula, which asserts that if d is a domain in the complex plane with smooth boundary, then f z equals 1 2 pi i d f zeta d zeta zeta minus z z element of d Display style f z equals frac one two pi i oint underscore partial d frac f zeta d zeta zeta z quad z in d. For all holomorphic functions f in d that are continuous on the closure of d, as a result, the delta function delta z is represented in this class of holomorphic functions by the Cauchy integral delta z f equals f z equals 1 2 pi i d f zeta d zeta zeta minus z Display style delta underscore z f equals f z equals frac one two pi i oint underscore partial d frac f zeta d zeta zeta z. Moreover, let H two d be the Hardy space consisting of the closure in L two d of all holomorphic functions in d continuous up to the boundary of d. Then functions in H two d uniquely extend to holomorphic functions in d, and the Cauchy integral formula continues to hold. In particular, for z element of d, the delta function delta z is a continuous linear functional on H two d. This is a special case of the situation in several complex variables in which, for smooth domains d, the Shigo kernel plays the role of the Cauchy integral. <laughs> Resolutions of the identity Given a complete orthonormal basis set of functions phi n in a separable Hilbert space, for example, the normalized eigenvectors of a compact self-adjoint operator, any vector f can be expressed as f equals n equals 1 infinity alpha n phi n Display style f equals sum underscore n equals one caret in a t alpha underscore n var phi underscore n. The coefficients alpha n are found as alpha n equals phi n f. Display style alpha underscore n equals langle var phi underscore n f wrangle which may be represented by the notation alpha n equals phi n f 
Display style alpha underscore n equals varphi underscore n caret dagger f. A form of the bra ket notation of Dirac. Adopting this notation, the expansion of f takes the dyadic form f equals n equals one infinity phi n phi n f display style f equals sum underscore n equals 1 caret in a t var phi underscore n left var phi underscore n caret dagger f right letting i denote the identity operator on the hilbert space the expression i equals n equals 1 infinity Phi n phi n display style i equals sum underscore n equals one caret n a t var phi underscore n var phi underscore n caret dagger is called a resolution of the identity. When the Hilbert space is the space L two d of square integrable functions on a domain d, the quantity phi n Phi n display style var phi underscore n var phi underscore n caret dagger is an integral operator, and the expression for f can be rewritten f x equals n equals one infinity d phi n x phi n she f she d she display style f x equals sum underscore n equals one caret n a t int underscore d left var phi underscore n x var phi underscore n caret asterisk she right f she d she the right-hand side converges to f in the L2 sense. It need not hold in a pointwise sense, even when f is a continuous function. Nevertheless, it is common to abuse notation and write f x equals delta x minus she f she d she display style f x equals int delta x she f she d she resulting in the representation of the delta function delta x minus she equals n equals 1 infinity phi n x phi n she display style delta x she equals sum underscore n equals 1 caret n a t var phi underscore n x var phi underscore n caret asterisk she with a suitable rigged hilbert space phi l2 d phi asterisk where phi l2 d contains all compactly supported smooth functions this summation may converge in phi asterisk depending on the properties of the basis phi n in most cases of practical interest the orthonormal basis comes from an integral or differential operator in which case the series converges in the distribution sense Topic: Infinitesimal delta functions. Cauchy used an infinitesimal alpha to write down a unit impulse, infinitely tall and narrow Dirac type delta function, da satisfying f x delta alpha x equals f zero. Display style int f x delta underscore alpha x equals f zero. In a number of articles in 1827, 
Cauchy defined an infinitesimal in Coors Deanalyse in terms of a sequence tending to zero. Namely, such a null sequence becomes an infinitesimal in Cauchy's and Lazare Carnot's terminology. Non-standard analysis allows one to rigorously treat infinitesimals. The article by Yamashita contains a bibliography on modern Dirac delta functions in the context of an infinitesimal enriched continuum provided by the hyperreals. Here the Dirac delta can be given by an actual function, having the property that for every real function f1 has f x delta alpha x equals f 0 display style int f x delta underscore alpha x equals f 0 as anticipated by Fourier and Cauchy topic Dirac comb a so-called uniform pulse train of Dirac delta measures, which is known as a Dirac comb, or as the Shaw distribution, creates a sampling function, often used in digital signal processing DSP and discrete time signal analysis. The Dirac comb is given as the infinite sum, whose limit is understood in the distribution sense. 3 x equals n equals minus infinity infinity delta x minus n display style operator name 3 x equals sum underscore n equals n a t caret n a t delta x n which is a sequence of point masses at each of the integers up to an overall normalizing constant, the Dirac comb is equal to its own Fourier transform. This is significant because if f is any Schwartz function, then the periodization of f is given by the convolution f 3 x equals n equals minus infinity infinity f x minus n display style f asterisk operator name 3 x equals sum underscore n equals n a t caret n a t f x n in particular f 3 equals f caret 3 caret equals f Carrot three display style f asterisk operator name three carrot wedge equals wide hat f wide hat operator name three equals wide hat f operator name three is precisely the Poisson summation formula. Topic: Sohotsky plemel theorem. The sohotsky plemel theorem, important in quantum mechanics, relates the delta function to the distribution p, v, 1, x, the Cauchy principal value of the function 1, x, defined by p, v, 1, x, phi equals lim epsilon 0 plus x greater than epsilon phi x x d x display style left langle operator name p v frac 1 x var phi right wrangle equals lim underscore var epsilon to 0 caret plus int underscore x greater than var epsilon frac var phi x x d x Sohotsky's formula states that lim epsilon zero plus one x plus or minus i epsilon equals p 
v 1 x i pi delta x display style lim underscore var epsilon to 0 caret plus frac 1 x pmi var epsilon equals operator name p v frac 1 x mpi pi delta x here the limit is understood in the distribution sense that for all compactly supported smooth functions f lim epsilon 0 plus minus infinity infinity f x x plus or minus i epsilon d x equals i pi f 0 plus lim epsilon 0 plus x greater than epsilon f x x d x Display style lim underscore var epsilon to zero carrot plus in underscore in aft carrot in aft frac f x x pmi var epsilon d x equals mpi pi f zero plus lim underscore var epsilon to zero carrot plus in underscore x greater than var epsilon frac f x x d x Topic relationship to the Kronecker delta The Kronecker delta delta ij is the quantity defined by delta ij equals 1 i equals j 0 i does not equal j display style delta underscore ij equals begin cases 1 and i equals j 0 and i not equals j end cases for all integers i j this function then satisfies the following analog of the sifting property: if a i i element of Z display style a underscore i underscore i in math bf Z is any doubly infinite sequence, then i equals minus infinity infinity a i delta i k equals a k display style sum underscore i equals n a t caret n a t a underscore i delta underscore i equals a underscore k. Similarly, for any real or complex valued continuous function f on R, the Dirac delta satisfies the sifting property minus infinity infinity f x delta x minus x zero d x equals f x 0 display style int underscore in a t caret in a t f x delta x x underscore 0 d x equals f x underscore 0 this exhibits the Kronecker delta function as a discrete analog of the Dirac delta function topic applications Topic. Probability theory In probability theory and statistics, the Dirac delta function is often used to represent a discrete distribution, or a partially discrete, partially continuous distribution, using a probability density function, which is normally used to represent fully continuous distributions. For example, the probability density function f x of a discrete distribution consisting of points x equals x1 xn, with corresponding probabilities p1 pn, can be written as f x equals i equals 1 n p i Delta x minus x i display style f x equals sum underscore i equals one caret n p underscore i delta x x underscore i. 
As another example, consider a distribution which six-tenths of the time returns a standard normal distribution, and four-tenths of the time returns exactly the value 3.5 i.e. a partly continuous, partly discrete mixture distribution. The density function of this distribution can be written as f x equals 0 0.6 1 2 pi e minus x 2 2 plus 0 0.4 delta x minus 3.5 Display style f x equals 0.6 frac 1 sqrt 2 pi e caret frac x caret 2 2 plus 0.4 delta x 3.5. The delta function is also used in a completely different way to represent the local time of a diffusion process, like Brownian motion. The local time of a stochastic process B t is given by x t equals 0 t delta x minus b s d s display style l x t equals int underscore 0 caret t delta x b's d s and represents the amount of time that the process spends at the point x in the range of the process. More precisely, in one dimension this integral can be written x t equals lim epsilon 0 plus 1 2 epsilon 0 t 1 x minus epsilon x plus epsilon b s d s display style l x t equals lim underscore var epsilon to zero caret plus frac one two var epsilon int underscore zero caret t math bf one underscore x var epsilon x plus var epsilon b's d s where one x minus epsilon x plus epsilon is the indicator function of the interval x minus epsilon x plus epsilon Topic. Quantum mechanics The delta function is expedient in quantum mechanics. The wave function of a particle gives the probability amplitude of finding a particle within a given region of space. Wave functions are assumed to be elements of the Hilbert space L2 of square integrable functions, and the total probability of finding a particle within a given interval is the integral of the magnitude of the wave function squared over the interval. A set phi n of wave functions is orthonormal if they are normalized by phi n phi m equals delta n m display style langle varphi underscore n mid varphi underscore m wrangle equals delta underscore n m where delta here refers to the Kronecker delta a set of orthonormal wave functions is complete in the space of square integrable functions if any wave function psi can be expressed as a combination of the phi n psi equals C n phi n display style psi equals sum c underscore n var phi underscore n with c n equals phi n psi display style c underscore n equals langle var phi underscore n psi wrangle 
Complete orthonormal systems of wave functions appear naturally as the eigenfunctions of the Hamiltonian of a bound system in quantum mechanics that measures the energy levels, which are called the eigenvalues. The set of eigenvalues, in this case, is known as the spectrum of the Hamiltonian. In bra ket notation, as above, this equality implies the resolution of the identity I equals phi n phi n display style i equals sum var phi underscore n wrangle langle var phi underscore n here the eigenvalues are assumed to be discrete but the set of eigenvalues of an observable may be continuous rather than discrete an example is the position observable q psi x equals x psi x the spectrum of the position in one dimension is the entire real line, and is called a continuous spectrum. However, unlike the Hamiltonian, the position operator lacks proper eigenfunctions. The conventional way to overcome this shortcoming is to widen the class of available functions by allowing distributions as well, that is, to replace the Hilbert space of quantum mechanics by an appropriate rigged Hilbert space. In this context, the position operator has a complete set of eigen distributions, labeled by the points y of the real line, given by phi y x equals delta x minus y. Display style var phi underscore y x equals delta x y. The eigenfunctions of position are denoted by phi y equals y display style var phi underscore y equals y wrangle in Dirac notation and are known as position eigenstates. Similar considerations apply to the eigenstates of the momentum operator, or indeed any other self-adjoint unbounded operator P on the Hilbert space, provided the spectrum of P is continuous and there are no degenerate eigenvalues. In that case, there is a set ω of real numbers the spectrum, and a collection phi y of distributions indexed by the elements of ω, such that P phi y equals y phi y display style p var phi underscore y equals y var phi underscore y that is phi y are the eigenvectors of p if the eigenvectors are normalized so that phi y phi y equals delta y minus y display style langle var phi underscore y var phi underscore y wrangle equals delta y y in the distribution sense then for any test function psi psi x equals omega c y phi y x d y display style psi x equals in underscore omega c y var phi underscore y x die where c y equals psi phi y Display style c y equals langle psi var phi underscore y wrangle. That is, as in the discrete case, there is a resolution of the identity i equals omega phi y phi y d y. Display style i equals int underscore omega var phi underscore y wrangle langle var phi underscore y die, where the operator valued integral is again understood in the weak sense. If the spectrum of P has both continuous and discrete parts, then the resolution of the identity involves a summation over the discrete spectrum and an integral over the continuous spectrum. 
The delta function also has many more specialized applications in quantum mechanics, such as the delta potential models for a single and double potential well. Topic: Structural mechanics. The delta function can be used in structural mechanics to describe transient loads or point loads acting on structures. The governing equation of a simple mass spring system excited by a sudden force impulse I at time t equals zero can be written m d two she d t two plus k she equals i delta t Display style m frac mathrm d caret two she mathrm d t caret two plus k she equals i delta t, where m is the mass, she the deflection, and k the spring constant. As another example, the equation governing the static deflection of a slender beam is, according to Euler-Bernoulli theory, e i d four W D X four equals Q X display style a frac mathrm D caret four W mathrm D X caret four equals Q X, where a is the bending stiffness of the beam, W the deflection, X the spatial coordinate, and Q X the load distribution. If a beam is loaded by a point force F at x equals x0, the load distribution is written Q x equals F delta x minus x0. Display style Q x equals F delta x x underscore 0. As integration of the delta function results in the heaviside step function, it follows that the static deflection of a slender beam subject to multiple point loads is described by a set of piecewise polynomials. Also a point moment acting on a beam can be described by delta functions. Consider two opposing point forces F at a distance d apart. They then produce a moment M equals F d acting on the beam. Now, let the distance d approach the limit 0, while m is kept constant. The load distribution, assuming a clockwise moment acting at x equals 0, is written q x equals lim d 0 f delta x minus f delta x minus d equals lim d 0 m d delta x minus m d delta x minus d equals m Lim D zero Delta x minus delta x minus D D equals M delta x Display style begin aligned q x and equals lim underscore d to zero big f delta x f delta x d big four p t and equals lim underscore d to zero left frac m d delta x frac m d delta x d right four p t and equals m lim underscore d to zero frac delta x delta x d d four p t and equals m delta x end Aligned point moments can thus be represented by the derivative of the delta function. Integration of the beam equation again results in piecewise polynomial deflection. Topic. See also. Atom measure theory. 
Delta potential Dirac measure Fundamental solution Green's function Laplacian of the indicator equals equals notes <laughs>